you now, today, are the parent of that boy back then. And you know what you know now, but he's your boy. Yeah. What do you want to say to him? <laughs> oh, yeah. If one thing I would uh, say to him. Yeah, or do to him. You know, <laughs> like knowing everything you know I've done, what, I would. You I would. know what he's gonna what he's gonna listen to. Yeah. Right. You know what he's gonna say to you if you say certain things because that's you too. But what do you want to say to yourself back then? Unfortunately, that changed anything. Well, unfortunately, it wouldn't. No matter what I would have said to myself back then, it wouldn't have made a difference. I was a really strong-headed kid, and when I got something in my brain, I was gonna do it. I knew what I was doing was like you know, like it was. It was highly addictive and it was something that could ruin your life, but yet the, it was still something I did. You read about all the stuff it does to you, the, you know, it can makes you paranoid, you know, it can make you like have these mental disorders. Didn't really matter to me. I was like, this stuff's great. So like, in my, you know, my parents tried, like they were threatening to send me to rehab, all this stuff, right? Like they, they really were and they had the talks with me and stuff. I just, nothing really clicked in for me because I really honestly didn't really care about living or dying. You know, because at the time I kind of, kind of had a little bit of a death wish, a little bit you might say. Like I just really didn't feel my life was worth value. So I, uh, yeah, so it was easy. It wouldn't have mattered what you told me. Really wouldn't have. I would have just kept doing what I was going to do anyway. And that's the sad part of it, right? But that's the way I was.